Okay, Divas, this video is for um, one of my viewers who asked me to do the uh, adhesive wrap application um, just to show her what I do. Um, and I'm going to do that. I've already applied my adhesive, as you can see, um, and done my, my hairline prep. I'm using Dablin Green, um, and the reason I've done it ahead of time is because Dowlins is kind of stringy and I didn't want to have to fool with it on video. So, at this point I'm ready to do the adhesive roll. Um, I really stopped using this application because I just started bleaching the knots and I don't wear a wig cap, but just for the purpose of the video and the diva that acts, I'm going to go ahead and do this. But, here's the adhesive, the self-adhesive wrap. And, I just apply it right and yes I do have on a black wig cap because using this method it really doesn't matter what color wig cap you have because they won't see it anyway so um, don't wrap too tight because this will give you a headache if it's too tight on your head so okay I'll just wrap it make sure it's behind the ears pull it down hope you guys can see that and I'm pulling it right on top of the adhesive. I don't use that much. I'm going to cut this off. Okay. And it attaches to itself. Now what I'm going to do is make sure that this is pulled down into my adhesive as much as possible because um, Davlin it holds for me, but it only holds about a week, which when I talked to someone, they told me that's the normal hold time for dabbling. So I want it to hold a little bit longer than that. So as you can see, press down into the adhesive all the way around. Okay. Um, I'm also going to use this super tape roll, which if you've seen in one of my videos, I told you I only get like a two-day hold on that. Well, along with the dabbling, um, I get a good hold and also I put super tape along the wig hairline. So yes, I'm using two forms of super tape and dabbing. Um as just a multi-wrap adhesive, okay? So here we go. You gotta make sure when you're using this super tape roll that all your hair is covered. So everything has to be covered. And I just attach this into the glue. This is the the brown color and the roll has the holes so it's the air flex super tape that has the holes in it so you can it's supposed to be breathable. <laughs> okay and I'm just trying to get this because there cannot be any hair out in this in order for it to hold. Okay so put that right at my hairline and I just roll it out right on top of the front of the dabbling and right on top of the front of the adhesive wrap. And then I cut the end off. This is a, a, a tape. I've been having this tape, y'all, since I began wearing lace wigs over two years ago. I stopped using this, but I found that in this application, it helps. So I'm going to let that go ahead and sit while I take the, the tape off of the wig, and I'll be right back. Okay, Divas, I'm back, and uh, as you can see, I've taken the the strips off the back of my super tape, and now I'm going to take the adhesive strips off the back of this air flex, and the air flex has two parts. You can leave the white part on one of them if you want, but I wouldn't suggest it because you'll see it through the lace. So now you have one strip that's on top of your adhesive wrap. And then the other strip is on top of your forehead, right on top of that dabbling. 
and what it's going to be is more tape to tape. Um, I like to use the tape on my lace because it's easier to get off of the lace than the glue is. I don't want to have to use the acetone and, you know, just with the alcohol, it rubs right off. So, I'm going to need to look in my mirror to get this right, but I take some of the baby hairs on the wig and go straight down right to the end of the lace. So to the end of the tape and press. Okay? And you do that all around. I don't want to press it too hard until I make sure I have it all lined up. And in there, all the hair is out of the way. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to press it in. With this method, you don't really need the comb unless you just absolutely want to because it's the tape method and it's a lot easier than the other one. But I will use the comb once I get the other side down because I like to use the comb. Like I said, guys, this is just my preference. This is just what I like to do. Of course, you do whatever works for you, but this is what works for me. And uh, my white tooth comb is in my coloring kit. So, one moment. I colored a wig yesterday, so it was there <laughs> with the the color kit because I had to comb the color in. Okay, so and here is just pressing it in and as you can see the scalp I have the wig tied up too so let me get it untied so we can see what's going on here. And because I put the tape inside of the wig I don't really have any parts that aren't down except for this little part right here that I'm going to have to go back and put some adhesive on. But um, this is the wig that I had on one of my videos and I said it was never applied. And um, I washed it off. I've worn it before. I just never applied it. And right there, guys, I'm going to have to go in and put it, put some more, we wanted to put it down, but this is pretty much it. I hope this helped that diva that was wanting to figure out how to do the, the lace wig application with the adhesive wrap. As you can see, it was really simple. Um, diva, I know you guys don't want to see me comb my hair, so I'm just going to show you the hairline. And the scalp with the wrap. Okay. Haven't brushed it since I washed it, so it's kind of snappy. One moment there. And what you're seeing, the white part is skin protector that I need to go back in and get off. But here's the part with the adhesive wrap. As you can see, it looks pretty natural. 